Ian, obviously we had one or two injury problems on Tuesday night. Have they become a little clearer today? How's everybody uh, looking? Um, yeah, not ideal. Um, three hamstrings, um, Dapo, Demps and, and Rico all will be missing Saturday. Um, we feel like Dapo and, and Demps have a chance of playing in some of the remaining fixtures. Rico, probably not. Um, but we'll get them scanned and have the reports back at some point later today and we'll make a decision from then on. Obviously, I'll miss them on Saturday if Rico was to finish this season. What a shame to finish the season the way that would be because he's been terrific this year and, and obviously we would miss him. Yeah, I mean, anybody would miss Rico. He's a fantastic player. Um, look, we'll obviously um, hope and have our fingers crossed that he can make it back, but you know, we don't really want to take any risks with him. He's a hugely important player for us and he's been outstanding all season. Um, yeah, those three are missing. We've got some injuries, uh, some other injuries as well, one or two others um, that are carrying knocks and, and some illness as well. So, yeah, not ideal back to November, December, but um, it is what it is and we just have to to get on with it and be as competitive as you can be on Saturday. Good job, it's a nice easy game. Um, as you said, you, you've had a, these injury problems to contend with at various points in the season and I guess it's no coincidence when you had your best run of fitness that you had that great run of results uh, sort of back in January and February. Yeah, I mean, we can have seasons like this and this is probably as bad as I can remember being being in football, the amount of injuries we've had in one year. But um, yeah, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We just have to get on with it. And as you said, a big, big game coming up on, on Saturday, a team that are going really well. Um, big fan base, big support coming here, but we want to to cause them problems and try and get the win. Is that the key? Don't lick your wounds, as you say. You're missing one or two. You've just had a couple of draws lately, and it probably just slipped out out the playoff positions. But still, uh, be positive going to a big game and and really keep the momentum going to the end of the season. Yeah, maybe a marker as to how far we've come. That we've we've drawn against Wigan, who were top of the league, and and Portsmouth, who are a big club in their own right and in the top ten, and we feel disappointed. Um, but yeah, we've. Another big game to come on Saturday and as I said, I expect us to be competitive regardless of what team we can put out. In the bigger picture, you've talked about the progress that clubs made this season, which is beyond doubt. And is that key to what's going to happen next season? We've talked about the form since the turn of the year. Three defeats, I think, since mid-January. is fantastic. New players in the building. Players who've already been here evolving all the time. Lots, of, lots to look forward to. And that's it. Just just keep moving forward, really. Um, keep progressing. Keep improving. Um, a young team predominantly um, a team that are quite new as well they'll get used to one of another and, and improve from that and then we've got another window to come in the summer to strengthen again so yeah lots of things happening on and off the pitch exciting times and we're really pleased with what's happening I know it's an easy thing to say but is the one thing that perhaps frustrates you this year that I know a lot of teams will say you maybe haven't quite got your just desserts in terms of terms you've played well in games I think Sheffield Wednesday was a classic example Wednesday where he played awfully well didn't score and lost the game yeah I mean there's loads of lessons to be learned this season I think we've we've dropped points in in key times I mean the November December injuries really helped you know sorry didn't help us at all and then we had um, the the big games the, the top 10 teams I'm, I'm counting we haven't scored first enough in those games. We've we've gone behind and you can't afford to chase the game against these big teams. The games that we have scored first in Ipswich, for instance, um, Sunderland, for instance, we've gone on to win and win well. Um, yeah, that's that's a lesson to be learned, really. And then, obviously, we've dropped points at, away from home at some you know difficult stadiums to go to, and we need to have a look at that as well. But lots of things to learn, but the season's not over yet. Lots to play for, and we want to... To finish with momentum. Ryan saying every time you've scored first, you, you haven't lost a game, or you know, which I know. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And like I said, once we get our noses in front, we're a difficult team to beat. But we have to get our noses in front, and, and too often this season we've not managed to do that. As you say, there's always another team playing against you, trying to stop you doing exactly that. But the season's not over. Five games to go. A biggie here on Saturday. Great atmosphere. It'll be a good occasion, won't it? Huge, huge. Um, obviously, I live close to Sheffield, so. I know all about their expectations and the size of the fan base, a big club like we are as well. So, huge crowd here Saturday, but a good opportunity for us to go out and perform as best we can and, and see what we can do.